first of all, Coach, congratulations on your first win as a head coach. Two quick questions for you. Number one, your players and your coaches responded with only four days to what you wanted. Could you talk about the pride in that, please? <clears throat> yeah, we talked about that pride and poise and just getting back to being ourselves. You know what I mean? Uh, everything that's going on is in front of us, not behind us. And the team effort you saw today um, is what we displayed in practice on Thursday and Friday, and I'm proud of those guys for that. Second of all, you've had great wins as a player, but where does your first head coaching win rank? It's up there. My stomach was uh, – I had them butterflies before the game. Uh, that hasn't happened but two other times in my life, and um, it was special, very special. Uh, coach, uh, the team looked rejuvenated. It seemed like some fresh energy, good execution. I was wondering, <clears throat> what did you tell them? What was the messaging to um, get that extra edge today? Yeah, just, I mean, go back to our roots. How did we all get here? You know, and I said it in the press conference, you know, when you were in Pop Warner, you just had the joy and the love for the game. And I, I just felt like we lost that for a bit. Um, and like I told you, you came back on Thursday, if you was at practice, you would have saw it. Friday, same exact thing. And then, just their focus throughout the building. I mean, obviously there's videos of the guys playing hoop, having fun, just enjoying themselves. But then when we went to the grass, it was work and business. And they understand that. But more importantly, they wanted to do it for each other. They just wanted that feeling, that joy that they're now celebrating, dancing, and having a great time in their locker room. Coach, L. T. Lewis with TD Sports TV <laughs> One. What impressed you the most about the win tonight for you? Team guys? effort. Special teams. Outstanding job in punt coverage, kickoff coverage. Um, we're three for three on our field goals. Offense came out the gate just physical. Downhill running, O-line, finishing runs. I mean, here's a play with Colton Miller. Where he, he had a defender out of bounds. I mean, and we finished both of our drives that we had early on with rushing touchdowns. And we talked about the physicality that we wanted to play with and get Josh Jacobs going. Also, what Bo was able to do with Aiden, at quarterback, very impressive. Those two guys, no sacks, no turnovers. And defensively, we talked about taking the ball away and attacking the quarterback. Eight sacks, two picks, Meek, heck of a job, Nate Hobbs, Johnny on the spot. You know, and then when you, to me, the most important part is look how those guys celebrated. You know, look what they did together as a unit. Coach, I was going to ask you about Aiden. Can you assess him? He seemed like he <clears throat> did what you needed him and wanted him to do. Took care of the ball, number one. Um, did a really good job of being poised. Handled the, the tempo that we had. Early on, we had some alerts and checks. Did a good job with that. Um, looked totally different than the guy that, that first start. And, you know, just like any rookie, the more opportunities, the more reps, the better you get. And more importantly, the guys around him really did a good job of protecting him and, and encouraging him and keeping his, his uh, chin up. Uh, you guys were up 7-0 uh, with about six minutes to go in the first half, <laughs> and you were very aggressive offensively. Is that kind of new, the new mindset? And, and what do you think about Bo's uh, game plan in his first game as a play caller? Yeah, we talked about being more aggressive, letting it go. I mean, you don't want to call the game scared. Uh, not myself as a uh, head coach, nor did I want the OC or the quarterback to feel like I didn't believe in him. So we felt good about something. We was going to let it roll. And, you know, you saw the shot there with Tucker. I mean, you got a guy that could run, run. And he was run, running. And he caught that ball, and it was a great throw by Aiden. But more importantly, look at the protection, that we had time to get there and throw that ball 50-plus yards. Uh, Brian Salmon, NBC, <clears throat> Las Vegas. If you can describe uh, the, the feeling you had when you walked through the tunnel for that very first time and the opportunity to take that picture with Champ and Sandra uh, right after you walked. First of all, like I said, uh, butterflies. I've had it three times um, as a professional. My first game in the NFL and the Super Bowl. And then my first game as a head coach. <laughs> um, that was special. But the other part that was special is the history that we made today. Black president. Female, black general manager, Champ Kelly, and then obviously myself. Um, don't take that for granted. Um, again, humbled by the opportunity. And when you look at it, it's just something that, you know, if it goes forever, if it doesn't, you know, for that one moment, we had that opportunity. You know, if it's the next nine games or so, whatever, let it be, but uh, very humbled. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there. <clears throat> uh, Coach, it seemed like Josh was uh, running with more energy, a little more uh, zip to his um, runs. Uh, w what did you see in Josh's runs today compared to previous games? I saw that heartbeat, what we talked about. He's the heartbeat. He's a raider. Um, 
when you watch Josh run, he runs angry. And he got back to that running style, what we saw last year. And it was just feed him, just go. And even at the end of the game, we wanted to get in there and obviously, you know, get him to that 100-yard mark. And we'll keep grinding on that. And, and that's something, obviously, I, I don't take for granted. It's hard to do in the National Football League. We haven't done it this year. But more importantly, it's those five guys up front. This week, a lot of love to the big guys. They did a hell of a job. They took on the challenge that we gave them out the gate in our first meeting as a team, and they accomplished it today. Coach, you were known as a real scrapper, a physical player. I'm curious, that seems to be the identity that you want the Raiders to look like they, like they were before. Is that accurate? And were you surprised they were able to flip that switch so quickly to be what you wanted them to be? Um, I think we showed that today. I don't have to talk about it. I think if you watch the game, it was just that. And yes, I want to be there. I think it starts up front. It starts with your O-line and D-line. It's a mentality. It's about taking somebody's will. And then you get the tee off like you saw, like we did with the quarterback getting eight sacks. So it goes hand in hand, man. Listen, uh, you know there's all the great teams. Uh, they got somebody up front on both sides that um, put fear in your heart. And then they got a running back and, you know, obviously the linebackers and other guys. But more important, this is a great team win. This is a great win for Raider Nation, the fans, our players, our organization. I'm proud to have, you know, the opportunity to coach these gentlemen. And we're going to do it again next week. Aiden, first of all, congratulations on your first Thank win. You. I, I'm curious, you guys were able to implement some new things in just four days. Uh, Coach Pierce was just very complimentary of Bo. Can you talk about those implementations, how your coaches, you know, worked with you and your teammates? Yeah, I think, you know, since I got here, Bo has been one of the hardest working coaches I've ever been around. Um, he does a great job preparing, you know, he's trying to get as much information as he can about our opponent to make good decisions. And so... You know, it's it awesome to see him succeed and call a really good game and, you know, to see our guys execute. But, yeah, credit to Bo. He did an awesome job. I don't think he got a lot of sleep this week, but hopefully he can, you know, rest tonight and um, take it easy a little bit. Can you uh, talk about the guys over here um, Sorry. in front of you? I mean, those sacks kept you clean. Josh gets that 100, and then the last one he gets, gets back yeah. a little bit. I mean, he almost got the 100. Just talk about those guys up front. Yeah, it's you know, it starts with them. I think they were – they've been challenged a lot um, to, you know, do their job and execute, and I think they did an awesome job. So those guys, man, they play so hard. You know, offensive line is such a hard position. Um, you just get yelled at nonstop, and you really you don't score or anything like that. So it's, it takes a special guy to play offensive line. And I'm super proud of our guys for, you know, establishing the run, keeping me clean, and keeping me clean in the pass game. You know, it's it, it was just a really good job by them. Uh, Aiden uh, Allen Snell here with LVSportsBiz.com. Uh, talk a little about what's it been like in terms of the transition to the new coach. I'm wondering – Playing for a coach who obviously you know, played in the league for nine seasons, what was it like um, playing for a coach who has a lot of experience as a former player uh, versus Josh, who's you know, more of an ex O's kind of? Yeah, tradition? I think you know AP did a great job. It was a hard situation, you know, a short week and um, an unfortunate situation that he you know took full advantage of. And you know AP is a, a guy who has strong convictions, and you know you can feel it intensely when he talks. And um, I think guys believe in him. And um, again, we just all around offense, defense, special teams did a really good job executing. Aiden, you've talked before about how games develop. I'm just curious, the locker room, you guys have won some games, but we could even hear you out here. Will you talk about that locker room and just how a team can take this and use it for momentum with confidence? You know, I think um, the guys are just, you know, definitely tired but um, ecstatic to have been able to perform like that. I think, you know, it's just hard. It was – it's obviously my first experience in the NFL, but it's a hard situation what happened this week, and so I think – the guys felt relieved and happy and, you know, just super joyful that we could perform like this. And so, yeah, it was it was definitely rocking in the locker room. It was, it was just great to see all the, the smiles from the coaches, player administration. Um, you know, that's that's really what keeps you going and why you do it at the end of the day. Aiden, LT Willis with TD Sports TV Line, that long bomb to Tucker for 50 yards. What does it do for a quarterback when you see a receiver lay down the line and lay out there and bring a ball in for a good reception? You know, first thing, first I think, you know, you got to get credit to Devontae. Devontae got double teamed basically the entire game, and he did as well on that play. The safety was cheating to his side. We had goal balls on, on both sides. And so um, Devontae, he, you know, attracts a lot of people, and um, Trey knew that he had to step up and, and, you know, go execute, and he did a great job. It was an unbelievable catch. You know, I remember in our preseason game against the 49ers here, he had a, a similar play, and it ended up being – uh, incomplete and uh, just to see him, you know, full circle come with 
um, and make and make the the same catch was was pretty awesome. You know, Trey's a guy who works super hard. You know, I'm a fellow rookie with him, so it's it's super cool to see him. You know, um, been succeeding. He's done a great job. He's a dynamic player. So, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to see guys around you succeed. Yeah. Your coach said he had butterflies. I know you had started a game before, but what was your mindset coming in? How are you feeling coming in? Uh, definitely butterflies. It's a situation I've never been a part of. I was lucky to have, you know, one head coach my entire time in college. Um, and I was in college for a long time, so I, I got pretty lucky with that. And so, um, you know, to have a, a coaching shift this early on was definitely unexpected. But, um, you know, I, I think our guys around me just did a great job instilling confidence in me um, and allowed my job to be a lot easier. Sorry about that. Thank you.